we saw what it was like to uh, digitize information from uh, using a GPS. And uh, for the buildings, we had these um, different uh, locations, and then we have to, you know, put them in the right place or just sort of say plus or minus the distance that they might be away from the house. One of the things that some people do is collect, try to collect the corners of the house and then that gets, you know, a bit better picture of where that uh, particular uh, location is for the house. Some people collect just a single point and they figure that as long as you're in the right rough location, you're okay. So those are the kinds of things that you, um, you run into. And same here with the road. I digitized the road by leaving the um, tracking function on as I drove around uh, this area and you can see the results. Um, you know, not very pretty, but this is why we always have editing. So how do we go about digitizing from one of these images? Uh, what do we have to do? Well, we go to layer and create a new layer, a new shape file. And uh, you have the option of creating a point, a line or a polygon um, layer. And we're going to create a point file in this particular case. Uh, we're going to set it to the same projection as everything else. So we're going to click on select coordinate reference system, CRS, and we'll select NAT83 UTM zone 12. I'll press, uh, I'll press OK here. And then we need to put some field names in here. So we need to um, go and tell the uh, system what the um, attributes are going to be collecting. So for example, house ID might be the first field. And it will be text data. I'll say 80 characters, sure, that way we um, have enough and add it right there. And if we want to have a second field of attributes, um, for example, house type, then we can um, maybe make this text also and uh, 80 characters. What would be the house type? Well, it could be public versus private. Uh, it could also be a trailer versus a, um, a residence. Uh, versus an apartment, etc. So those are the kinds of houses we could have uh, out there. You also be able to capture things like barns and uh, abandoned houses, burned down houses, etc. under house type. So we would say okay. And now we will create a, a new uh, file. So I'll say um, these are uh, digitized buildings. And I will say save. And now I can actually start entering stuff. The next step I need to do is make sure that I have this layer selected right here, the one that I just created. And then I click the toggle editing button. What happens when I click on the toggle editing button, this turns into a little pen, which means that I have this uh, now set that so that I can actually add information. And the way that um, I would um, add things in here is that I would go into the uh, edit and capture point for the center of this house. And the house ID is um, 83H. 001 or whatever code system I want to use. Hey, how come the other field doesn't didn't show up? Because I forgot to press the add field. So these are some of the things you have to watch out for. So that's a, an error I made on purpose to see how easy it is to forget to enter a field. It's easy enough to go back and um, add an extra field before you get going. And I'll show you how to do that soon enough. But um, so we'll do that. And so that's the first one. And then we'll say edit capture point and um, same thing 83H002 and see it remembers um, that I'm entering points so all I have to do is click I don't have to go to the menu every single time and I can digitize all the buildings in this cool de sac right here I'll finish digitizing all the buildings before I stop. So now I toggle edit and it asks me if I want to make the, the save the changes and I save. 
and bingo, I have digitized the uh, buildings. How do I digitize the roads? Simple. We'll once again go to Layer, New, New Shape File. We'll see that this time it's a line file. And we want to have a uh, road name because we're going to be digitizing the roads. I'll make sure that I press Add to Attribute List so you see it showing down here. I will select the coordinate reference system, UTM Zone 12 in this particular case. And uh, it's a line, so I've got to make sure that that's set and I press OK. And I can say zero, and I'll say call it digit roads. Save. Once again, I go to the toggle edit option right here. And I can go to edit, capture a line, and I can start digitizing the center line for this road right here. If I wanted to, I can also capture the edges of the road, which perhaps would be better because that tells me the clearance I would have for different types of vehicles and so forth. And then so I'll save myself the trouble and I right mouse click to end it and I can put the uh, name of the road and so on right there and now I can um, go and capture the next one that remembers the settings so I just click from that intersection and capture this access road don't be afraid to run over the car because it um, it just happens to be there in the image but um, you know that's what you're digitizing is where the car should go and once again and there are rules here for how carefully you can set this up and so on and we'll do this one right here as you can see it doesn't take very much effort to digitize what does take some effort though is to um, make sure you do everything properly and I'm obviously doing things very quickly here for the sake of um, you know being quick about it and so on so that you can see how this happens once you have digitized all the roads here you would just go click on the uh, toggle edit and you press save and this disk option shows up here when you're digitizing this allows you to save the edits as you're going along which is a very handy thing to uh, be able to and uh, finally, we'll digitize uh, the areas. And how do we do that? Once again, new shape file. We'll make sure it's a polygon. We'll tell it that it's UTM zone 12. And um, we would say house number, again, add to the attributes list. Once again, double check that it's a polygon layer. Say OK. And I would say digit areas or whatever you want to call it. And um, this way we will have a file that uh, shows up right here. And uh, once again, we need to press toggle edit to uh, be able to start digitizing. And then we would say capture polygon. And we probably want to zoom in a little bit for this so that we can capture this properly. But I'm capturing the corners of the house right here. And right mouse click and that ends it. And you can always go back and um, edit the corners and move them around and so on if you didn't do a very good job <clears throat> the first time around. Once again, I can go to the next house. Get that corner, get that corner that corner and there we go go to this one and this one looks like it has a garage that sticks out so we can go in here and put a bit more effort into this one And um, you can see here that um, 
you know you have the option of um, being able to digitize all these things and it's uh, fairly quick and fairly efficient so once again uh, we can save the edits as we go as I did right there and of course uh, when I talk about edit um, now it doesn't ask me because I saved it but if I've done some other work it would ask me if I wanted to save the changes and that's what it takes to uh, digitize uh, the point lines and areas and when you compare um, I'll turn off the areas but when you compare the points that I did digitize in that way versus the ones that we had from the GPS you can see you know that there is a difference a, um, you know in terms of the location of the house there is a way of uh, measuring the distance if you want to figure out how far apart these two are and you can see that I'm off by 13 meters at the end of the day big what we do uh, you know perhaps that's not the you know a big deal and um, you know I can go in here and figure this one I'm about 12 meters off on this one uh, let's figure this one out I'm about 10 meters so you know not too bad overall so even though one looks much nicer than the other for our intents and purposes perhaps the GPS locations are good enough and um, you can also remember that there are errors with the GPS and chances are that the uh, error is greater than you know exactly how far you are away from the house